What happened over the past year shouldn't have happened. I take responsibility for it. It's a bombshell report that could reshape the fall federal election. Canada's ethics watchdog says Prime Minister Justin Trudeau violated the Conflict of Interest Act by pressuring his former Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould to halt the criminal prosecution of SNC-Lavalin. Do you have any plans to resign or at least apologize formally? Uh, I recognize... Uh, that this was a situation that shouldn't have happened. The PM responding in Niagara on the Lake this afternoon to the findings in Ethics Commissioner Mario Dion's report. It states Trudeau violated the section of the Conflict of Interest Act that bans public office holders from using their position to influence decisions that could help a third party. In explaining his findings, Dion writes the Prime Minister directly and through his senior officials use various means to exert influence over Miss Wilson Raybould. Dion goes on to say that SNC Lavalin would have benefited financially had Wilson Raybould given in to the pressure applied by Trudeau. He accepted the report's findings, but says the PM should be able to speak with the AG on issues that could affect Canadians. It is essential that we do that in a way that defends our institutions, that upholds prosecutorial independence. But we need to be able to talk about the impacts on Canadians right across the country of decisions being made. This pressure or political interference to intervene was not appropriate. The report comes in the wake of Wilson Raybould's explosive testimony before the House of Commons Justice Committee in February. The former AG claiming she faced consistent pressure and veiled threats from Trudeau and his staff to have federal prosecutors offer a remediation agreement to SNC Lavalin instead of criminal prosecution. The Montreal-based engineering giant is facing charges of fraud and bribery in relation to alleged payments made to secure government contracts in Libya. The Ethics Commissioner's findings were released just over two months before the federal election. The correct response is for Canadians to vote out a corrupt Liberal government led by a Prime Minister who still cannot accept responsibility for his actions. This is just un unacceptable. It is outrageous that our Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of Canada, would be doing such a thing. This is the second time Trudeau has been red flagged under the Conflict of Interest Act. Canada's former ethics commissioner previously found that the PM acted improperly by accepting an all-expenses-paid vacation to the Aga Khan's private island in 2016. With the SNC-Lavalin scandal now top of mind, the question is whether Trudeau can recover before the October election. The Prime Minister is going to try to say that while he did something wrong, he did it for good reasons. He was worried about Canadian jobs. The Conservatives and the NDP will try to say, nah, he did it because he was trying to help out elite friends of the government. So the battle now, I think, becomes one of framing and motivation. And the effect in the election will be whether Canadians accept one version of that story or the other. Wilson Raybould was booted from the Liberal caucus and will run for re-election as an independent in the fall. She weighed in with a statement which reads in part, I have feelings of sadness. In a country as great as Canada, essential values and principles that are the foundation of our freedoms and system of government should be actively upheld by all, especially by those in positions of public trust.